Good evening and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily if you're new here and today I have another slightly different video for you. It is a clean girl makeup routine but just a disclaimer I'm not in the expertise of makeup. I'm just showing from personal experiences and what I've tried and tested and think looks so good on the skin and it looks like you're wearing minimal makeup but you feel super confident. So I will show you all the products that I use and I will also link them in the description box but if you do like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss any of my future hauls but without further ado let's start the makeup tutorial so for step one we need a primer and if you've watched my skincare routines you will know that i use this Elemis Superfood Glow Primer Moisturizer. This is perfect and you can use it as a moisturizer, which I do, but I do also use this, Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow Primer. And this one gives a really nice um, color correcting primer. So I love both of these and I do use them alongside each other. So let's apply these now. I just literally apply little dots all over my skin of both items so I don't mix anything in just yet and you might think I'm crazy but I do leave my skin just like this for a moment until we go on to step two so for step two this is where we apply our foundation our BB cream whatever you use to sort of color correct your skin today I'm going to be using this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I got this in number four, which is neutral, um, but I only applied the tiniest amount. Obviously, if you're going out, you might want to apply a little bit more, but this one is just for a clean girl aesthetic, and I honestly apply about that much to my whole face. So again, I just do little dots all over my skin, especially in areas that I might have any blemishes, um, and then I rub all the primers in together with the foundation. So once I have fully rubbed that into my skin, I then use a little dabber and just go over all the areas and really dab it into my skin. This will ensure no cakey foundation. So for step three, not everybody will want to do this step, but I go in with a little bit of concealer. I use the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. This one I have in color Macadamia. However, this one is a little bit too dark for me now. So I would recommend getting a lighter color because you do really want to lighten up the underneath of your eye and any blemishes. But I just then apply a little bit under my eyes like so that is literally all i do and i will just leave that on my skin for a little bit to soak in and then go over it with the dabber so once i'm fully happy with the look of this i'm going to go in with step four the bronzer I'm using the Hoola bronzer and this is an all-time favourite, it's such a classic bronzer um, and I'm going to go in with the smallest amount just to sort of contour my cheekbones a little bit and I, so, I do go over the top of my forehead too. And you just want to be careful with this step because I find this is one of the steps you can really mess up on and if you apply too much it can look cakey and like you're wearing a lot of makeup but this way if you just apply a really fine amount it gives you a little bit of colour and brightens up your skin. For step five and probably one of my favourite products here is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm um, Beauty Light Wand High Blush. This is in colour Pinkgasm. She clearly likes to play on words. Um, I just squeeze a little bit out of this little brush on the end and then dab some of this onto my cheek. You don't want too much. Um, but I also go just a little bit over um, to the corner of my eye. And also I like to put a bit on each side of my nose and just on the top. So I sort of look like this. It's giving a bit of a funny look right now, but once it's rubbed in, you will have glowing sun-kissed skin. I just sort of gently rub and dab it into my skin to try and not lose any of the colour pigmentation. And 
I then go across my nose and just keep doing this until you are happy that it is fully rubbed into your skin. I would say that step is one you want to take most time on so that you can really keep the colour but make it look super natural. Next up for step six, we have this, the Novu um, Lash and Brow Conditioning Serum. I'm going to be using this just on my brows today. Because I'm going out, I want to be applying mascara on my lashes, but I will apply this at night times only on my lashes and my brows again. This I sort of use in replace of a gel and just brush my um, eyebrows up into place. So I'm really happy with this look so far. We're now going to be using our mascara. If you've got an eyelash curler, you can use that as well. I'm just gonna go straight in with the mascara though. And I use this one, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It comes out with a really nice brush. So it is sort of like flat on one side um, and then just has bristles at the top and bottom. You do want to be careful of getting yourself in the eye because I've done it a couple of times and it does really hurt. Anybody that can talk while doing their lashes needs an award. And then I just apply a little bit on the bottom lash as well. So we're finally on the last step and that is a lip gloss, a lipstick, whatever you want to use. So I particularly like this one, which is the Paw Pom Overnight Lip Mask. This is great for just giving like a sheen on your lip and it is also really good and moisturizing to use overnight. Or I also have this one, which again, I love. It's the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm not quite sure what name this is, but I will link it. It's probably some sort of plumping one because it does give your lips a little bit of a tingle when you apply it, but it's got the most beautiful natural color. And that's it for a clean girl glowing makeup tutorial. I love the finished result. I will link everything in the description box down below as I do usually. And watch down there if you haven't already, please do make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so you never miss any of my future hauls. It is free to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any point. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next video.